Paano yung nakumbinsi yung Comelec? Dahil hindi na kayo, di ba, tinanggal na kayo sa unang listahan tapos bigla binalik kayo. Yes. Yeah, so, actually, blessing sa amin yun, Arnold, yung, yung disqualification ng Comelec. Uh -huh. Kasi napatunayan namin na new politics pwede mag-wage ng credible national campaign. Naniniwala sila kasi actually during the time, uh, Comelec received over 2,000 signatures in 60 countries. Many of them world leaders, members of parliaments all over the world. Nagulat sila, ganun pala yung global reputation ko. Alright. Yeah. Sabi ho sa inyong CV, eh, plenary speaker, resource person, 90 global conferences, 140 national conferences. Yes. Ito po yung intriga sa inyo. Okay. May sumusuporta daw sa inyo ng mga international groups. Bawal po sa batas ang mga dayuhan yes. magpondo oh. ng kandidatura. Totoo yun. We accepted uh, funds from them before the official deadline. February 8th. Before, before February, February 8th. February. Uh -huh. Magkano po yung nalikom na salapi mula abroad? From abroad, from the foreigners. I think I estimate namin $18,000. $18,000. Uh -huh. so, uh -huh. Pero ito, chinek namin sa lawyer namin na pwede yun. So wala pa kung isang milyong piso ang nalikom ninyo galing abroad. $18,000. Dollars, so. okay. Yes. So, hindi ko kinakahiya yun. In fact, it's an advantage. Kaya kasi, the moment I sit as president, the glo this global connection will come into play. Okay. Ito mga, mga so-called green investors, among among others. Hiwalay kayo sa asawa nyo? Yes. Yeah, so. uh, legally separated kayo? Hindi. We're, we're still legally married. That's why even, even sa akin, uh, voting, sa registration, I... I, I told them, and, but, but we're already separated. No, unless you're legally separated, you're still legally married. Eh, ano naman ang sagot nyo dun sa mga konservatibong sektor na nagsasabing yes. hindi nyo tinupad ang inyong marriage vow? Sa akin lang siguro, I respect marriage as an institution, pero if there are certain things that that's not advanced uh, in that form, uh, relationship, we can create new social forms. My, my, my wife is still very supportive of me, even though we're separated. We're in good terms. But if yeah. divorce were legal in the Philippines, you and she would be divorced? Yes. So, so, so supportahan niyo ang divorce sa Pilipinas? Yes. So, ang feeling ko, this is what I'm telling. For example, a wife is beaten up, the husband plays around, there's no real love, manipulated, and then you cannot, you're stuck with that kind of a person. Okay. Ito yung tanong ko rito. And the Philippines is, in fact, the church through annulment is already uh, acknowledging uh, annulment of marriage. Sinabi niyo po naging consultant kayo ni dating Pangulong Aquino at Ramos. Ano po mga proyekto ang minungkahi ninyo na naging matagumpay? Uh, during the time uh, sa kay Aquino, I was a consultant sa kanyang presidential commission on the Philippine Nuclear Power Plant. The team was advising the, the president, as former pre President Aquino, kung anong galugagawin solusyon sa Bataan Nuclear Power Plant. Na pinatigil ninyo. No, we convinced her na grabe yung fraud doon, grabe yung... Corruption and damning defects. Kay Ramos? So, uh, sa, sa Kay Ramos naman, sa Philippine Council for Sustainable Development. Okay. And marami kaming laws na napas. Ito yung tawag na participatory approach that actually work and which we introduced sa UN. Pero It was adopted sa, sa UN. Sa pangkalahatan, political outsider pa rin kayong matuturing dahil wala kayong posisyong hinawakan pa yes. sa gobyerno. Uh -huh. E paano ko paikot-ikutin kayo ho ng bureaucracy uh -huh. o ng mga politiko? <laughs> I'm smiling, Malu, kasi although an outsider, marami akong alam sa loob ng government kasi basically advised uh, not only the office of the president, the cabinet members, uh, senators, congress people, governors, mayors. Kinong perlas, nung time ni Paolo Arroyo, maraming civil society ang nag-join sa kanyang gobyerno. Kay Arroyo, right. Kay Arroyo. Pero parang hindi rin nagtagumpay na mabantayan siya. <laughs> Umalis din yung iba. So paano magiging matagumpay ang isang... Nagaling na nagaling din ang civil society. Okay. Uh, dito, Arnold, ang uh, bago, bago umupo si Arroyo doon, sumulat na ako ng isang essay addressed to civil society leaders sa Compil 2. Sabi ko, the challenge of Arroyo. Kasi nakita ko na, na kasi ang daming against her already. She was basically decision ng civil society noon. Siya yung vice president. We will follow the constitution pag natanggal si Arab. But many already had problems with her. Ngayon yung pumasok doon, they thought they could work within. And we were, uh, in the first few months, nakita namin na hindi pala pede. I was also asked by one of them to consider the position of Secretary of Environment, which I turned down. Because nakita ko na sa, sa style ni Arroyo, she's not consultative, 
she doesn't make decisions on facts. Mr. So, Perlas, yeah, anyway. Tanong ko lang kung kayo po ay may suporta ng civil society groups. Mm -hmm. Yung iba naman po ng mga political organizations eh nakakalat sa iba't ibang karibal ninyo. Right, oo. Oh. Diba po? Yung yes. grupo ng bayan muna o yes, grupo so, ng sa magkabilang panig. Yes. Eh, kanino po talaga at gaano kalaki yung masasabi nating network ng Nicanor mm -hmm. Perlas for President mm -hmm. Movement? Uh, we can say na ang sumusuporta sa akin ngayon, that's why I'm still in contention, are actually yung mga liderato, yung mga movements ng mahihirap. Mga Especially mga katutubo, mga magsasaka, mga ngisla, people's organizations and other words yung nagsusuporta. Mm -hmm. Sa akin, ang mga NGOs, I'm not, uh, if they're supportive, great. But they don't really have the numbers. They're, they're supposed to be facilitative sa mga people's organization. Dito alam ko ang billion million of supporters dito. But including, by the way, spiritual groups. Pero magkano ang pondo nyong ilalarga? Well, tingin yeah. ninyo, may mga donors ba kayong top 10? O wala. 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 Uh, magkano siguro, magkano? siguro natatakot sila sa sinasabi ko na walang utang na loob. Pag magbibigay sila ng pera sa kandidato namin, uh, is the basis of the platform. Walang personal favors.